Okay, what's an adjective? It's a describing word. It's a describing word, right? So we use adjectives to describe what? The noun. To describe nouns. To describe nouns. The job of the adjective is to describe a noun. Give me some adjectives in English. Tall. Tall. Short. Short. Small. Small. Large. Large. Long. Quick. Okay, all adjectives, all used to describe things, right? So you could have a tall man, a short girl, a small farmhouse, a large horse, a long road, a quick boy. So we are going to use these adjectives in this chapter to describe the nouns we already have. Okay. In Latin, adjectives agree with the nouns that they describe in three things, number, case, and gender. Number, meaning singular or plural. Gender, masculine, feminine, neuter. And then case, is it nominative case, genitive case, dative case, accusative, or ablative? Okay, what do I mean by that? The noun is the boss. Remember that, the noun is the boss. The noun picks these things. The noun decides, am I gonna be singular? feminine nominative? Am I going to be plural masculine dative? Am I going to be plural feminine accusative? The noun chooses and the adjective just follows along with whatever the noun says. If the noun is masculine, singular masculine nominative, the adjective is singular masculine nominative. I always say that the adjective is like a chameleon, okay? What does a chameleon do? It sits on top of something and it blends to match, right? So if the adjective sits on top of a masculine singular nominative noun, what's the adjective become? Masculine singular nominative. What if it hops to a feminine plural accusative? It becomes feminine plural accusative. What if it hops to a plural neuter? Ablative, it becomes plural, neuter, ablative, right? It changes, so the adjective is the chameleon. It changes. Wait, it changes genders? Yes, it changes genders. The adjective could be feminine, masculine, or neuter. It changes, it changes. How do you know which one? How do you know which one? How do you know which one to choose? Is the adjective to be feminine, masculine, or neuter? How do we know? We look at the, the boss, the, the noun. We look at the noun, we look at the noun. Look at your vocab in chapter six and look at how it looks a little strange. Wait. This is strange. Altus, alta, altum, bonus, bona, bonum, ferris, fera, ferum. Why is there three options? Because it's all the genders. Us, a, um. Us, a, um. Us, a, um. Matches with our chart. Us, a, um. Right? It, it, all the genders. So if you have a masculine noun, you're going to pick altus. If you're talking about weir, like a man, you're going to pick altus. What if you're talking about femina, a girl, a woman, you're going to pick alta. What if you're talking about a gift, donum, neuter, you'd pick altum. Okay, so they give you all three options because you could be describing any of the three genders with a noun, right? Do we see this? Us, a, um, us, a, um, us, a, um, that pattern. Latis, lata, latum. The vocab in this chapter is not terribly difficult. 
Okay, lots of cognates, lots of English words that we can use to remember these words. Altus, alta, alto meaning high. What are you thinking? What about altitude? What about altitude? Let's we'll skip down here thinking that same thing like a map. Latus, lata, latum means wide, think. Latitude. What's the other lines on, on the map? Longitude. Longitude. Longus, longa, longum. Longitude, meaning long. That's where we're getting these words from are these Latin adjectives. Bonus, bona, bonum. If you get bonus points, it's good, right? Good. Ferris, fera, ferum. What's a feral cat? A wild cat. It's called a feral cat. Have you heard that? Feral cat means a wild cat. It comes from the Latin adjective ferris, fera, ferum. All right, we did latus, latitude, long, or I mean wide, sorry. We did longest, longitude, long, right? Magnus, magnitude, magnificent, great, right? Not bonus, not good. Magnus, great. Mollus, what's, um, what is uh, malice? Harm, right? What about, um, my kids are really into this, Maleficent, bad, right? She's bad, she's like a bad, some kind of bad witch. Okay, all from malas, bad. In, in Spanish, mal means bad, right? Um, we're gonna skip mayos for a second. Multis, multiply, multiplication, right? Means much or many, multitude. Parwus, parwa, parwu, small. <laughs> In golf, you want to get a small number, right? You want to get a par. You want to get a par. Par woos, par wa, par woos, small or little. Okay. Tuas and mayus. You might not think of as adjectives. They're called personal adjectives. Mayus, maya, mayo, my. My what? My desk, my room, my book. Those are all nouns, right? My what? We're describing something. Okay, same with to us, your, your desk, your book, your mom, your house. So those need to agree. Okay, if you're gonna say your man, it would be masculine. Your woman, tua, feminine. What about your gift? Tuum, because it's neuter. Okay, and then we have a couple prepositions. Notice they're both used with ablative. They follow the rules. Cum means with and sine means without. Okay, you'll have time to put the vocab into Quizlet and use the vocab, but just notice it does look a little different because adjectives are a little different. Up till now, nouns have a specific gender, right? They are never gonna change. Man is always going to be masculine. Gift is always going to be neuter. But these words change. They can be any of the three genders. Okay. So, how does one decline an adjective? Mm, this is going to be fun. Pick one. Which one would you like to decline? Long goose. Long goose. Okay. So, we have long goose. I think you have it frozen. Oops, sorry. Longus, longa. Thank you. Longo. <laughs> Tough crowd to that. Okay, longo. All right. All right, we have the masculine. We have the feminine. Right? And then, of course, we need to have the neuter. So we have our nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, ablative. Do you see where I'm going with this? Okay, so for a normal noun, you have 10 different ways of saying it, right? For an adjective, you have 10, 20, 30 different ways of saying it. So when you get home tonight, you can say, guess what? I learned 30 different ways to say long tonight. Okay, 
so in retrospect, the noun and the retro. same um, ending. <coughs> So Gage just made such a brilliant observation. He said, so the noun and the adjective are going to have the same ending? <coughs> yes. The noun and the adjective will have the same... Will have the same ending 90% of the time. In Latin 1. In Latin 2, it drops down to maybe 50% of the time. And you'll see why. You have to know that they agree in number, case, and gender. Okay, so I'm gonna, we're going to decline these. Longest. U.S. Those would be the options if your noun was masculine. What if our noun is feminine? What if our noun is neuter? Thirty different options. Thirty different ways to say long. No. So in Quizlet, you would just write longest, longa, longum, adjective, long. Okay. I'm going to do just a little bit of practice here. Adjectives are worthless if you don't know how they're used with a noun. That's their job is to describe a noun. So you have to know how they work with a noun. I gave you five different examples. All right. These are all what? These are all your nouns. Okay. These are your nouns. You need to determine their number, case, and gender. So let's take Puella. Let's start there. What's its number, case, and gender? Find its gender first. Its gender is feminine. Okay. Look at your feminine endings. A, is it on the singular or the plural side? Singular. It's on the singular side. What case? A, nominative. You know how to do this. Do not make this harder than it is. You know how to do that, okay? So then you look at your adjective, long. And you need to make it feminine. You need to make it singular. And then you need to make it nominative. So your word is <coughs> longa. And that would mean long girl. That's kind of a weird sentence, but it is what it is, okay? Do they agree in number, case, and gender? Yes. Do you see what I mean by number, case, and gender? Okay, don't I? It comes from the word donum. What's its gender? It's neuter, yep. And 
if you didn't know, you could look it up in the back of the book. Is, so we're in this neuter box. It ends in an I. Singulars on the singular side. There it is, right there. Singular and genitive, yep. Okay, so what, what adjective are we picking? Neuter, singular, genitive, long guy. Okay, and what's it gonna translate as? Careful, of the long gift, of the long gift, right? We can't forget that of because it's genitive. <laughs> okay, we're oru. We're. What's its gender? Masculine. Very good. So we're in this box here. What's its number? O R U M. Is it singular or plural? O R U M. Thank you. It's plural. And its case is genitive. So what adjective will we pick? Longorum. And it will translate as of, because it's genitive, the long, what? Men. men. Good, making men plural. Okay, number four I picked for a reason. You're going to see why. Um, where? What's its gender? Where? Boy. It, it's masculine. Is it singular or plural? Singular. And it's nominative case. Okay, masculine. Singular. Nominative case. What's our adjective going to be? Long goose. It's going to translate as the long boy. Okay. Up to this point, Gage made the prediction that the noun and the adjective will have the same ending. Let's see if that holds true. A, A, I, I, O, R, U, M, O, R, U, M, E, R, U, M. Does that match? Where doesn't match, okay? Where's not gonna match. Weir is not gonna match. Any of the those weird, um, if you have a uh, word like filiabus or deabus, remember the ones that become a b u s. Those won't match. Um, but ninety percent of them will up to this point. Okay, for five femini, they tell us it's dative singular because remember that a e could be multiple. So it's feminine. They tell us the AE is the dative singular option. Okay, so it's gonna be long guy, the long, I'm sorry, two or four, the long woman. Weird. Okay, do we see how we're matching these? You would just have to go slow. And yes, 90% of the time you can go back and check. Does my ending look the same? 